Hi, Hugs. We're going to talk about the base block. The base block is used um, whenever you are trying to gain leverage on a defender and the ball is being ran close to you or right up your butt. Um, that's when we use the base block. We're trying to get square on the defender that is in our gap. We can either be doing a base single, which means there's a guy in our gap and we're blocking him by ourselves, or there could be a base double team where um, the guy play side of us is either covered head up or there's a guy on his backside shoulder and we are double teaming with that guy where that guy is chipping that down that down defender and we are then trying to take him over and gain leverage but we use a base uh, block whenever we're trying to gain leverage on a defender in our play side gap he has leverage on us to where the ball is being ran and we need to we need to gain that leverage and cut him off from the play so when we do this, we need to make sure we shuffle or scoot and stay completely square uh, while trying to get our head and play side hand to the play side number of the defender. Um, our first step is with our play side foot. It steps out and back. We want to step back to give ourselves time to get over to cover that guy up. If we just step straight at him or to the side, um, we won't be able to, to get our head to the play side if he shoots straight up field. We need to make sure we step back and out so we give ourselves space to get over to that play side number. Um, then we do a gather step with our second step, and then our third step is finally up the field. Um, and hopefully by that time, we are square on the defender. So I'll just go ahead and show some film of it. We are going to watch this left guard right here. Uh, on his base block, so we're running um, dive to the right here, and he has a guy in his gap. Um, and so he's going, this guy's tight in his gap, so his step doesn't need to be so far and so deep because this guy's tight, but is tight on him. It could be a little step. Second step is gather. Third step is with his play side foot up the field, getting his head to the play side number, and um getting his play side hand to the play side number, his backside hand goes to the sternum of the defender, but he's gonna stay square and try to cover this guy up. Um, the ball is being ran right here. Um, so this defender has leverage on him to where the ball is being ran. So he needs to try to cover that guy up. And notice he's close that the ball is being ran right here, that he's close to where the ball is being ran. So he needs to stay square. So the running back can then make his block right. Um, he can't just turn or turn this guy because then the running back only has a one-way go. So we'll watch his block. So his first step is with that foot. His second step should gather. And then his third step is when he makes contact. Um, he's not square enough. Um, he needs to get his head on the play side number. Um, but he, notice he is maintaining that leverage and he's fighting to stay square. Okay. Now, there is movement. Notice he's getting moved laterally. We want to try to keep this vertical as much as we can and try not to get moved laterally, but that does happen. Um, but we just need to try to stay square and maintain leverage so that guy cannot fall into where the play is going. Okay, and notice this guy does a nice job. This guy is not able to fall into where the play is uh, going, where the ball is being ran. Okay, we can watch the center as well. He has a base block. This guy is still in his gap. His gap is from his shoulder, his play side shoulder to the back side shoulder of the guy next to him. So that guy is in his gap. So he's going to base him. He will have help from the guard, uh, but it's still the same steps. He will scoot. He will step back and over. And his third step, he'll make contact, trying to get his head to the play side number. So it's going to be hard to see his feet, but if you notice on his third step, he's in perfect position. His head is on the play side number. His elbows are nice and tight. He's square on the defender. Notice now he loses leverage, which it's really important that we maintain our head position so this guy can't get into the play. Notice that that happens because he lost leverage. That's why it's important that we keep our head on the play side number and we don't lose that leverage. Okay. But that's what a base block looks like. See if we can try to find one more for you here.
Okay, we can watch the center here. Um, the center is doing a base double with this guy. Okay, notice that the center steps over, scoots over. He's lower than the defender. His head is on the play side number. He is nice and square. Okay, the running back, all he sees is our blocker's butt and grass on either side of him. He's completely square on the defender, and he's driving, driving him straight back. Um, and now all this guy can do, since we're square on him, is make an arm tackle. And when he makes an arm tackle, we're still going to go get yards, and that's when we get a pancake on the defender as well. So that's why it's important we get square on him. Okay, we can watch um, this tackle as well, where he steps back deep to try to cover this guy up. Notice this is a hard base block because he's head up on this guy. So this is a base double with the guard. So he's got to step way back to give himself time to cover this guy, this guy up. And then he scoots and then he works to try to get his head on the near on the far number. So notice his head goes to the near number, working to the far number to try to get himself over there to cut this guy off from where the ball's being ran. Okay, and notice he gets there and he drives the guy and he's able to get a pancake on him as well. Okay, so we scoot back to get in front. And then we drive the guy vertically.